Don't know how to build a team from scratch or find good teammates? DreamTeam.gg, the ultimate team building platform. Get on fast track to advance from novice to amateur and, if desired, to professional gamer. Join DreamTeam.gg today. Hello everybody, welcome back to a very exciting episode of CSK News. Thank you all for watching and first off, if you guys do want to watch my live stream, I will be live streaming today and tomorrow as well as all throughout next week. I've been live streaming a lot more frequently. If you guys want to see that, it's here on YouTube. You got to hit the notifications though because if you don't have your notifications on, you cannot see me live streaming. So we're going to have a fun stream tonight. Just if you guys want to catch that, feel free to. Let's hop into our first story though, all about Virtus Pro in the news, of course, over the past two months, ever since Taz left that roster or was forced to their bench. No one's really sure what the future of Virtus Pro holds and this past weekend, especially last weekend as well throughout Star Series, IEM Katowice, we have seen a mix of confusing signals from this team and I sincerely want to know what you guys think about this roster going forward. If you guys do remember their their actual CEO did come forth to HLTV and he said that if the team does not improve, they will make continued changes coming March and guess what guys, today is now March 2nd and we have yet to see any changes although Virtus Pro was eliminated from IEM Katowice just yesterday after what we could summarize as a, a, pretty, a pretty disappointing tournament. You know, uh, last weekend at Star Series, we saw them abruptly do quite well uh, in some matches, but then again, overall, they do pretty poor, not making playoffs through several tournaments now, as well as IEM Katowice this past weekend, and you can look at their past results as well. They have losses to several teams out there. They were destroyed by Heroic in a 2-0 sweep right there. We also have them losing to G2 in a nasty matchup. They also somehow got dominated by a godsend with a younger stand-in player, that's Kanchi, who's actually currently standing in for Brawlin, uh, so a stand-in player godsend roster actually dominated them as well. On top of that, Windigo, if you guys don't know them, well, many people don't know them, a lower tier Bulgarian lower tier Bulgarian team that actually I really do enjoy watching. They also dominate uh, the, this Virtus Pro roster and on top of that as well, we also have them almost losing a best of three to MVPPK. Uh, that's also a Korean team if you guys were curious, uh, technically an Asian team as well. They were the fourth place minor qualifier, fourth place major qualifier uh, finisher over there in the Asian scene. They're below Tai Lu, they're below Flash Gaming. To give you guys perspective as to the teams these guys are almost losing to are being dominated by. Now also on top of that, though I do want to point out of course we still see flashes of Virtus Pro doing very well there but then the rest of the games we see a lack of motivation I've talked to multiple people about this what I see when I watch Virtus Pro play is almost just a lack of overall confidence a lack of motivation once they go down they never come back a team who rarely has come back I know there's also many stats out there apparently on land to date ever since adding Mihu to the roster they have yet to win a single T side pistol round and that is absolutely insane. If you guys don't know, Mihu joined three weeks ago. They have played several events on LAN. I think it's uh, Star Series and Ayan Katowice. They've played several maps, I think at least 10 maps on LAN by now, and still have yet to win one T-side pistol round. That is absolutely insane to see. And you could say as well, there's a variety of these players that are doing quite poorly. My two in mind are, would probably be Pasha Biceps, and I think the overall worst performer recently has been Snacks. So I'm not really sure what to expect from the roster, although we can base this off the data we've, we've had so far from the CEO and upper Virtus Pro management, we can say that changes will be coming to Virtus Pro soon. Who's it going to be though is the real question. I know initially the rumors were Neo was next, Pasha Biceps though, if you look at his current tweets guys, he seems to be almost self-defeated himself. All of his tweets being very, very sad, uh, all resulting around his performance and him saying see ya or goodbye or I'm leaving. He's joked about this multiple times now and the real question is, is he really joking or is he subtly being uh, you know, kind of honest about this? We're going to see what happens to the future of Virtus Pro, but honestly overall it's been disappointing to watch them and their slight downfall. I can't really say slight downfall. It's just been a, a giant degrading downfall over the past year and a half, and now we're at our high point of just disappointment, and I think it's all coming to fruition right now. Will there be a roster change? Will they go to a younger Polish lineup? We just don't know. But also in very cool news for all you YouTubers out there, people of course who watch YouTube, we have our very own YouTuber, Nato Sapphics. Actually, if you guys do not know, kind of an inactive YouTuber as of late, but he's also been a trial member for Team Sprout for quite some time. Actually, for just over a month now, he's now officially been signed by Team Sprout and officially going, I guess you could say, uh, signed to a pro team in CSGO, which is amazing to see, guys. I'll link his YouTube channel down below. He does not post very frequently, but it's really cool to see a guy who kind of came up around the YouTube scene and posts really random CSGO videos, obviously be signed by a really official team like Team Sprout. Team Sprout, for to give you guys an, uh, kind of a, a viewpoint as well. If you guys remember, Team Sprout wasn't our last major. Kind of a disappointment in that terms of in that roster kind of being put together last second, kind of finalized last second. Uh, and they have a lot, of, a long ways to go uh, for the next major in September. But I do have high hopes for these guys, and I still have no doubt in my mind. These Sprout stickers, yeah, the Sprout foils, they are still one of the sicker stickers in the game because uh, they are the kind of the green color that I do enjoy. So anyway, that's really cool. NATO Sapphics has been signed officially to Team Sprout. And another news for some more innovation out there for all you Face It Pro League. 
League players. We do have another monthly Face It Pro League champion. That's actually Esperanto from the team known as Man's Not Hot. I messed that, that team name up so badly last episode. So Man's Not Hot member Esperanto. If you guys remember former Dignitas players, Asilian and Tensky, also Nexa, kind of finalized that roster as well. A really aspiring roster right now, currently a number 40 on the HLTV rankings, guys. That actually is Man's Not Hot. So a great roster there and a great growing roster. And by the way, Esperanto is just 16 years old. We've seen so many FPL champions, so many FPL members now joining at the age of 15 and 16 years old. It's kind of crazy to see that, again, these guys are like half my age and they've achieved so like 10 times as much. Also on top of that, though, Face It Pro League announcing some other updates out there that are actually made by the people inside of it. Not a Face It Pro League official server. We actually do have more servers, though, coming, though, for all you Australians out there, a Face It Pro League official server for Australians. So kind of cool to see they announced that as well, a dedicated server for Australian people, of course, to uh, effectively have them being playing more efficiently and not have to be forced to play on higher paying servers on top of that as well. We do have some big announcements in terms of I'm going to be trying to play ESCA and face it maybe sometime in the next in the future. Again, don't don't rag on me guys. I know I'm not the best at CSGO, but I've been playing a lot lately and I'm trying to get as, as good as possible and I want your recommendations. So this next story is just a quick question. Leave a comment down below. You can say, uh, you know, just say face it or ESCA or leave a comment as well. Say why you chose face it, why you chose ESCA for a player like me, a very, very below average player who's trying to get better and better at CSGO. What would you recommend for a kind of a, a sub average player who's probably playing anywhere from 50 to 60 hours a week, who's trying to learn maps, just trying to get better at CSGO in general? Would you guys recommend Face It or ESCA? I'm also asking this as well because a lot of people actually ask me and I have no idea what to tell them. So are there certain reasons why you guys prefer Face It or ESCA? Leave a comment down below. I would really, gl really gladly enjoy that, guys. Uh, thank you for that head time. And hopefully in the future, you guys can see me and either Face It or uh, ESCA when I'm not as bad. And in case you guys didn't see Three Clicks Phil's video, I'll play the quick clip I want to talk about very shortly right now. An unrelated note, but I barely visit CSGO's subreddit anymore since it's now all pretty much esports and who said what about whom, which to be honest, doesn't interest me too much. Just out of curiosity, I hopped over to the Overwatch subreddit. This is a game that I don't even play but it reminds me of how Global Offensive subreddit used to be. And I do want to comment about this, and you guys feel free to if you want to. I don't feel like I want to agree, but I, I almost do agree. But ever since I've actually joined the CSGO community back in probably uh, early 2015, this is always the Reddit I was used to. It was a bunch of highlight plays, people saying a, a bunch of Twitter quotes, you know, this person said this about this. If you scroll through today uh, as well, you can see, of course, a bunch of Thorn quotes, a bunch of other videos out there, a bunch of highlight plays for 200 IQ plays, 300 IQ plays. But for me personally, that's what Reddit's always been. And I've I've always really enjoyed CSGO subreddit. I know that there's not many game mechanics talked about, not many in-game ideas being spread and talked about, but every now and again there are. And I don't know what, what you guys think about this, but ever since I joined the CSGO community, it was always a great place to go to, the Reddit, not only for your news, the, what, what people say about each other, the leaks as well by people like Decay and Don Hossie, but for me personally, it's always the way it's been. So I've, I've, just, I've just been used to it being like this. I'm not sure if you guys remember a time where it's been different, but for me personally, it's always a place where I go to get my updates. I know a lot of you guys as well who watch this definitely get your updates from that too. And I, I don't personally agree with what he said. I, I really don't understand the whole the whole aspect of what other subreddits do differently. I know a lot of other subreddits out there are a lot worse than CSGO's, a lot more toxic and a lot more inactive. And so I do want to quickly say, although I'm sure he is correct, uh, three clicks Phil thinks everything through to an extreme amount, I'm sure he is somewhat correct. But I myself personally being a uh, somewhat still a rookie in the CSGO scene, I've never known it to be different and I do want to say I'm, I'm very very grateful for the reddit we do have before being so active because I've gone to other reddits out there the call of duty reddit uh, the uh, I think at League of Legends is is pretty active but other other ones out there that are pretty more well-known games like call of duty in, in particular although it might be a dying game you go over there and they post about nothing so I'm very very thankful for all of you guys who do uh, do still remain active on CSGO subreddit I just was really curious what you guys think about that I know a lot of you guys are probably gonna agree with what three clicks Phil says but I do think every now and again there are a lot of game mechanics things that are actually talked about on the reddit maybe he just doesn't see it when it when it comes up and very last in today's episode of CSK News before I tell you guys some very big details coming soon to the channel kind of a, a last half of this video is gonna be updates for all of you guys in terms of next week we have a, a spring break here in America it's gonna be a very packed week in terms of videos coming to the channel I'm gonna give you guys the full breakdown of that but very last we do have team NRG of course North America team so a lot of you guys probably aren't fans of this they have announced their new coach we've not seen a lot from NRG in the past few days or the past few weeks at all in terms of uh, you know big achievements so far they've 
have announced their newest head coach, though, Emmy, to their squad. Now, on top of that, though, guys, to finalize today's episode, I do have big updates coming soon for the channel. So very, th thank very thankful for all of you guys who do leave comments down below and do still watch my content. I really cannot thank you guys enough, especially to all of you guys who come to my live streams and just show your support that way as well. I do want to announce uh, and kind of a very exciting news, guys. I'm still searching for a few sponsors for this, but um, as of today is Friday, March 9th. You guys are uh, you, March 2nd. You guys are watching this next Friday, March 9th. I am officially going to announce very shortly here, guys. I'll be doing a 24-hour CS:GO live stream. Now, if you guys have not been uh, with your no notifications turned on, I've been live streaming here on YouTube for the past two or three weeks straight. It's been amazing fun. We do viewer games. We play with all of you guys. So yes, uh, next Friday, March 9th, starting 8 a.m. U.S. Central Time, I'll be playing 24 hours of CS:GO straight. I would, of course, make a video about that uh, if you guys cannot stop by. So one week from today, I'll be doing a 24-hour CS:GO stream. I absolutely cannot wait for that. We'll be doing viewer games, tons of giveaways, a very, very little bit of gambling, probably not too much of that. Um, other fun stuff. If you guys want to leave a comment down below, give me ideas for that. It's going to be such a fun time. And again, I cannot wait to see how how it goes. I've not done a 24-hour stream in over four years, so I cannot wait to do this one. And again, I'm still waiting for a few sponsors. Once those sponsors are finalized, I'll shout them out in a big video as well, kind of trying to announce what they'll be doing for that. But expect tons of giveaways, and I cannot wait to give away so many skins, and just it's going to be a really fun time. So next Friday, 24-hour stream. On top of that, though, we will have spring break there, so I can probably, I'm going to not really promise you guys, but I'm going to try my best when my sister is home, uh, a Q&A with my twin sister, Jenny. And on top of that, I'll also be doing some other videos out there with kind of a Mr. Beast style to it. So spending 10 hours doing this, spending 10 hours doing that. If you guys want to leave ideas down below in the comment section, would be greatly appreciated. So some big, big things coming, guys, and I cannot wait, especially for the 24-hour stream. It's just been so long since I've actually been able to stay up that long straight. I know a lot of you are younger viewers. You guys are saying, Jake, I've stayed up three days straight, no problem. Well, for me, it can be very tough. So it's going to be a really, really fun time, and I really just cannot wait. It's going to be awesome to see uh, how you guys react to that. So as always, hope you guys all enjoyed. I will see you all tomorrow with another CSGO News episode, a big episode with a big first story, which I'll talk about uh, very, very shortly as well. So hope you guys all enjoyed. My name is Jake Mariah, like you. I'll see you all tomorrow.